What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Holiday World in Dallas, Texas, and I'm staring right into the sun, trying so hard not to squint. I forgot my sunglasses, but just bear with me. But anyways, we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Montana 3761 FL. This is gonna be Montana's front living floor plan. Actually, I should say it's one of their two front living floor plans. This is going to be their front living floor plan with the bath and a half. So really like this floor plan and we're really going to look at all the changes for the 2022 because there are a lot of them. There are a lot of things they did with this 2022 model that I really like. So we're going to dive into a lot of that stuff and then look at this floor plan in general. It is a very popular one from Montana. So let's get into it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button and most definitely the subscribe button down below. Become a part of this growing community of RVers around the world. And then if you want to connect with me in other places, you can see the links to my social media, Instagram, TikTok, stuff like that down below in the description. And then finally, I don't know if I did something to upset some of y'all, but a lot of people have been coming into the store and then they say that they've seen my videos, but they didn't ask for me. And I'm just like, I want to help y'all out when y'all come to a Holiday World store. So when you come into Holiday World, if you've seen my videos and whatnot, and that's how you heard about Holiday World and what is bringing you in, ask for me when you call us or when you come into the store so I can help you out because I'd love to help y'all. And my contact information will be in the description and at the end of the video. All right, y'all, let's dive into this thing as we just admire, first of all, how beautiful this Montana looks. This is the updated graphics for 2022. So they did some changes with the color scheme in the 2021s. They had this light blue color in there. They got rid of that. It's pretty interesting because this is like a gray colored sticker, but sometimes it does, depending on how the sun is hitting it, give off a slight, slight blue hint of color. So it's pretty interesting how it does that, but it looks really nice. They changed the text font around the RV. So like the Montana font here looks much more clean and modern. They added the Montana logo up here and then changed the text font up here as well on the front cap. So everything about it just has a more clean, modern and sophisticated look is kind of how I would explain it. I really, really love the changes on the exterior look. I think that um, I never really had too much of a problem with the look of the 2021, but now that I see the 2022, I'm like, oh yeah, this is definitely a whole lot better than what last year's look was. And I think this just is more on brand with what Montana is aiming to be with being a you know, high-end luxury fifth wheel that is really suited for full-time living if people want to do that or, you know, extended travel, things of that nature. And it just fits what Montana should be. And I think, you know, is, is the look that I would expect a Montana to have, I should say. So with that all pointed out with the aesthetic there, let's look around at the different aspects of the outside of this trailer. So you're going to have your pin box here. This is what I believe to be. I'm pretty sure it's a Rotaflex pin box. Um, basically what it is is you have this rubber gasket here that is going to absorb a lot of the shock as this is pivoting back and forth and so when this is hooked up on your hitch that will be absorbing the shock making that towing a little bit easier for you and then what i've been pointing out recently in a lot of these videos is that a lot of people have been going with this setup here which this is the reese goose box and what this is is this go is going to replace the pin box here and it is going to hook up onto a ball in the bed of your truck that way you don't have to deal with having a bulky hitch there so that is another towing option that I've seen more and more people going with. And my dad, who just bought a fifth wheel from me, he bought a Keystone Cougar from me about six months ago. He is towing with that as well, and it's been great. Keystone also has this patented hitch vision here. So as you can see us there, you have the mirror there that is going to allow while you're backing up to see how your truck is coming back in here and aligning with this hitch or with the pin box. So it's just gonna give you a little bit more of a view of your truck coming into the back of this setup as you're trying to hook up to the hitch area there. So that's gonna be everything here. Another thing underneath here, this is if you have a legacy package where the generator prep will be, since this one is not a legacy package, it is just going to be storage compartments underneath here. And then you're gonna have all your wiring for your battery up underneath here as well, and your hydraulic fluid for the hydraulic auto leveling. Let's I'm trying to get this closed there. There we go. All right, and then underneath here, same thing, getting to your battery in here, and then you do have a battery disconnect switch, so you can just kill all the power to your batteries there and here as well. So you'll have those. 
that's where your battery will hook up. One thing too, if just getting into like real basic information about fifth wheel RVs, this is considered a full profile fifth wheel. So what is going to make it a full profile fifth wheel is it is flat all the way to the front cap and the ceiling. A mid profile fifth wheel will slant down going into the front cap. And then you also have the drop frame construction. So you can see here where the frame drops down there and comes across. When you look underneath here, you see the frame drop down there. That basically is going to give you bigger storage compartments and it gives you a wider base at where your stabilizers come down, making it a more sturdy unit. So overall, a full profile fifth wheel in every regard is going to be bigger than a mid profile fifth wheel, but those are some of the aspects that make it a full profile fifth wheel that we're looking at. Let's come look at the pass-through storage here. Now, because you have such a huge rear storage compartment, this is going to be a more narrow sto uh, storage area. However, it still is straight through. There's no obstruction or anything like that, which I really like. You do have heat that is coming into here. So this is your heat duct right here. This vent cap just popped off, but this vent cap goes up in there. And that is where you're going to get heat fed into this cavity. So whatever is in here is going to stay warm. And also it's pretty cool in here too. I have the ACs on in the unit right now and I can feel that it is much cooler as I stick my head in here than it is outside. So you also have your TV hookups right here. So if you did want to mount a TV right here, how the mount works is it would sit right here. The TV would sit sideways and then it would slide out and pivot out. So you can have that in your pass through storage and not have to set it up on a table or something like that if you did want an outside TV. And you have your central back system. So you can hook a hose up out here. You can clean this area or clean outside your trailer with the central back system. Something speaking to the construction of the frame of this Montana, it is in aluminum framing. And then if you look at it, where they do their welds, they weld on both sides of the frame so that is going to be all the way across this entire Montana unit. Everywhere that there is a connection point in the framing that is going to be welded on both sides. Not all manufacturers do this because it saves a whole lot of time if you only weld on one side of the frame. And that is going to be something just speaking to the structural integrity of the Montana that you get. Another thing, just looking at the quality, this is your sub flooring up here. It is all wrapped. There are a ton of units I go into where you look through the pass through storage and you can just see the exposed flooring underneath there. This flooring is actually wrapped here, which is something that is also going to be a little bit of an upgrade in quality that you get with this Montana as well. Next to this door here, also slam latch doors. So going to be real solid on there. You're gonna have your propane bottle in here. So this will be your 30 gallon propane bottle. There'll be another 30 gallon propane bottle on the other side as well. Coming around here, you do have a propane quick connect line. So underneath here, if you wanted to hook up a grill or something out here, that's where this would connect and it'll run straight to your propane bottles. You're gonna have the, this is a more ride step. Uh, it's the step above step. It comes with the Keystone branding on it. Best thing about this particular step here is it doesn't ever really get in the way of opening and closing the door. Sometimes these step setups get a little bit annoying with how they can make it difficult to open the entry door. This one doesn't do that at all. It is also strut assisted. So if you're a little bit more weak in your arms, maybe you're a little bit older, whatever it may be, when you're moving this step, you can see right there, it will stay wherever you stop it at. So if, you pull, if you're pulling it out of the door and you're worried about it falling on your head, it will never happen. It'll just stay right there until you decide to pull it down. So just a nice safety aspect. And then another thing that they did that they made a change of is to adjust the height. All you have to do is push this in and it is going to allow this to travel back and forth. I'm not gonna do it because we have it set at the right height, but there's no annoying pins now that you have to pull out and put back in or anything like that. You just push this in and it's going to allow it to travel and then it'll lock back in place when you pull it out. And that's something that's going to make setting this up a whole lot easier. It's just little things like that that make your life a whole lot easier when you're going out camping. Since we're here, we'll look at this too. You have the screen defender on your screen door so your pets can scratch this all day long and they won't damage the screen. And you have this screen assist that is going to allow you to just pull down on this and disconnect your screen door. So at first I was kind of like, I don't know exactly why that is important to have, but then someone pointed out to me that that allows you, if your hands are full or something like that, to use your elbow or your foot, whatever it may be, to get that screen door disconnected a little bit easier. 
coming around to this side. Underneath here, you're gonna have your road armor suspension. So the road armor suspension, as I always point out, is going to have six inches of travel. It's the only suspension system I know of coming out of the factory where you get six inches of travel as opposed to three. So basically, these rubber gaskets that you have right in here are going to give three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down and a total of six inches on your suspension system. So that in unison with the pin box that you have is going to allow for a super smooth ride, keeping your unit from you know acting up or being crazy or anything like that. And then while we're here also looking at the tires, all of these tires now are coming with a tire pressure monitoring system. So they all have sensors in them, including the spare tire that is going to work with the tire pressure monitor that it comes with so that you can always monitor your tire pressure. That is something that's new for the 2022 that was not on the 2021 that you are now going to have on this Montana. Um, when you're looking at the slide outs, you have this rack and pin method here, and then these are going to be hydraulic slides, which the best thing about those is they are extremely fast. They go in and out so quick. I mean, it's almost like twice as fast as something that is not a hydraulic slide. So that's something I really like too, and is always really impressive to look at when we're talking about this type of slide out mechanism. And then another thing with the slide out, when it comes to the insulation, underneath your like sub flooring here, Montana does something, and really this is a across the board with a bunch of different Keystone fifth wheels. But with their slide out boxes, they do something pretty unique here where with the flooring underneath the slide out box, they use an astro foil layer of insulation and then they have a dual layer floor there that is going to have another gap for insulation between the flooring so that you have in your slide out box you have floor uh, insulation in the flooring area there that is just going to improve the overall insulation of your trailer obviously the slide out box is going to be one of your more vulnerable spots for insulation when it comes to being in an rv and that's something they do in the flooring where they give you that astro foil instead of radiant foil insulation underneath there so basically it's air pockets in that insulation that they use and then they have a two layer floor that has another gap for more insulation purposes to make sure that you're getting the best insulation possible and then this montana is going to be a four season camper so a lot of people say oh is this rated for full-time living and it most definitely is um a lot of people live in montanas so it is definitely going to be fit for living in full-time you do have a spare tire underneath here this is where your spare tire is located at and you have a ginormous storage compartment underneath here you can see how big it is all the way through it's unobstructed pretty much i mean all through this area definitely unobstructed and then it goes all the way up into the front or not the front the back sorry where you have these storage compartments here then you're going to have this storage compartment where this will go all the way through again you're having heat fed into this area through this ducting right here so you will have heat coming to this cavity in here so whatever's in here will be safe from the elements and then coming around this side same thing you're gonna have storage access on this side of the rv as well then a couple other aspects to look at with this montana first of all you have backup camera prep so if you want to put the backup camera on there it's already prepped with the wiring you just got to get the backup camera installed on there you have reverse lights on the back of your trailer which is something i always point out because there are so many brands out there that do not have the reverse lights which i'm sure you can think of various different applications and times where you're going to be out traveling where you're going to be reversing and probably want the person behind you to know that you're backing up so a good safety feature that you'd be surprised is not on a lot of uh, towable trailers and then finally back here you have an accessory hitch so this is not a towing hitch it is just a 300 pound accessory hitch anytime you have these kind of storage compartments in the back of a fifth wheel like this it's always going to be an accessory hitch back here and not a towing hitch but you can do a lot of different stuff with this putting racks back here for generators or bikes or i've even seen people put kayak racks back here so lots of different things you can do with that have your ladder up to the roof so i'm going to climb up this thing and show you what's going on up on the roof all right up here as you can see we have three ac units and one of the most impressive things about montana is you can run all three acs at the same time now these coleman mock q series acs that they're using are drawing less power so that you have the capability of running all three at the same time which being here in texas is a huge deal so very glad to see that 
You're also gonna have different attic vents here. So that's what these are. This is allowing hot air in the attic to escape. And then you have your 200 watt solar panel that is now coming standard across every Keystone trailer. So this is going to be working in unison with the solar charge controller and the pass-through storage that we'll look at. To keep your batteries charged, make sure that as long as the sun is shining, your batteries are staying charged. And that's just one less thing you're gonna to have to worry about now that solar is going to be standard across the board on Keystone trailers. So that's everything up here on the roof. Let's hop back down and finish looking around the outside. Next, you're gonna be able to see here, this is where your 50 amp plug connection is. So that's where that hookup will be. And then this is going to be your water heater. You're gonna have a 12 gallon gas electric water heater on here. Coming towards this side of the RV, one thing I really wanna point out that a lot of people care a lot about, you only have one area that is going to dump out of this RV. So everything is going to come out of this one spot. So you don't have to worry about any Y connections or anything. And all of your pull valves are gonna be in this compartment right here that closes up. So it'll all be secure back there and everything will be in this one central location. So you won't have to hassle with setting up different stuff to make that you know, dumping process more complicated for you. You're gonna have a six point hydraulic auto leveling system. So you can see you have your jacks here, here, and there. And it'll be the same on the other side as well. And then finally, let's get to this side of the pass-through storage compartment. Or we'll open this up. You're gonna have all your water connections in here. So your external shower, it will come with a 25 foot hose. You can see how the motion activated lights. This here is a wire running to the rooftop. So if you do wanna put a satellite in your unit, this here will already be pre-wired all the way up to the roof and then we'll plug in right here so that that wiring job for a satellite is already done. That's the most complicated part of the job and that's just gonna save you money if you do wanna get a satellite. Then obviously you have all your water connections inside this one area here and solar hookups. So if you do wanna plug in another solar panel out here, you can do that as well. Another thing I wanna point out because a lot of people ask what these are here. This is actually for a tank overflow. So if your like fresh water tank is overflowing, it is going to come out of this area right here. So that's just gonna be a safety measure to make sure that air and water in your tanks has a place to escape and it will escape out of that valve or that vent right there. Another look into your pass-through storage and this is where your solar charge controller is going to be. So this is going to be regulating the charge on your battery, making sure it's not overcharging and making sure that it's also receiving the charge. In this compartment, you have your other propane bottle. Your auto leveling controls are all gonna be right here. So everything to control that will be within this panel right there, plus your instructions on how to do everything. And then that's pretty much it as far as the outside. Give you one last final look here. Oh, I do wanna point out something as well. This spot right here is a vent outside of the trailer in the kitchen so when you do have your vent fan on on the microwave it is going to be venting outside of the rv so you don't have those smells accumulating in there so give you one last final look around the outside again it just plus the sun is just hitting it perfectly right now it just looks so dang beautiful I want to take time real quick just to mention where I'm shooting this video at. This is in the campground of our dealership. This is something that makes us very unique at Holiday World of Dallas and is a big proponent to why we have a 4.9 star rating with over 1,100 reviews on Google. This campground is for our customers to use for free. Unfortunately, there aren't any lake views or mountain views or anything like that, but it is a very functional thing for our customers to do. And most people, when they buy their RV from us, they'll actually take a day or two to set it up in the campground after they've done their walkthrough just to get comfortable with it, experiment with it, play around with it, make sure everything works properly before they actually take it home. So it is a huge benefit to our customers to be able to have this space. And there's a lot of service benefits to it as well if you were ever to bring your RV in for service and need it to use it at the same time. So that is something that is going to make us very unique here at Holiday World of Dallas and something you should definitely know about if you're considering purchasing from us. Again, Montana is going to be a four season coach. So it is going to be equipped to be comfortable in any given weather condition and definitely suitable for living in full time like we talked about. Now coming inside here, this is going to be their cobblestone colorway. So basically you're getting the light cushions with the gray cabinets 
and then in your bathrooms you're gonna have the cottage white cabinets but this is what your aesthetic looks like in here i have some of the windows closed so the sun isn't beating down in here so aggressively but it is just absolutely gorgeous in here montana definitely has my favorite interior design out of any keystone trailer it is just absolutely beautiful you see how nice it looks in here one thing very easy to point out right away is in montana's front living floor plans you get three cushion sofas here instead of two cushion sofas that you most typically see in front living floor plans meaning in most cases unless you're you know six two like me you'll be able to actually lay down on that couch and even me i could lay down on that couch if i bend my legs a little bit so, so these sofas will both make into beds they're both going to make into king size beds which is going to basically fill up this whole area pretty much they don't exactly touch, but they're both going to come into this middle area, make two king size beds, and this whole area can be a sleeping area. In addition to that, you do have a privacy curtain here that will pull all the way across. And then when you're just looking at little aspects of the quality of Montana, I mean, they don't just have, you know, the rack that slides across. They actually hide it, you know, behind this solid hardwood fixture here. So it just looks more residential and elegant. It's just a nicer finish to it. And then when you're looking at the aesthetics and design, I mean, you have the LED lighting all throughout the crown molding that looks really good. That's gonna run along the entire top of the roof, wherever there's crown molding at. You have the LED lighting up in your light fixtures in the ceiling as well, it looks really, really nice. And you have LED lighting under all of your countertops. So it is just beautiful in here. I mean, I, every time I come into a Montana, especially these 2022s, they changed like the handles here, they used to be silver. They went to more of a black color and a little bit different styling on those. I like that change as well. It just looks beautiful. Again, we have the third AC. So this AC is going to be an additional second AC in your living area to help cool off this entire area quicker. And then looking at the AC up front, because this one here is not gonna be ducted into the system. This is just going to be a drop down AC, this third one, but the front and the back are ducted together. And first of all, this AC is on full blast. So although this does not look like the traditional whisper quiet AC, it is still 12 decibels more quiet than your standard AC unit. So it's still quiet, it's not super loud. And they added a new filter system where you can see up in here, you have a much bigger filter and this is called a MERV 9 filter. Basically what it's doing is, you know, a traditional RV AC filter is only filtering out like pet hair maybe at best. This here is going to filter out things as small as like dust particles and you know dead skin cells, all that type of stuff, and just keep the air filtration system in here so much cleaner. It's basically like a residential style, style uh, air filter. Wow, I had a really hard time getting that phrase out. But yeah, residential style air filter that you're gonna have. So that is something that is a change for the 2022 as well. That'll be on both the front and the back AC. Forgot to turn on these lights over neat, or over the slide outs and the sofas. So that's your whole area up here. It is a retractable TV. So this TV will go up and down. I'll show you what it looks like with the TV down here. But when I open this compartment, I wanna show you another aspect where you have this JBL sound system. It looks really cool with the lighting, the lighting changes colors and whatnot. And then your speakers here. Um, if you know anything about speakers at all, this is a tweeter. So that's gonna be all your high frequencies controlled by this aspect of the speaker. Then you have another speaker component behind it that's gonna be like your mid-range speaker that's going to be covering all your mid-range frequencies. And then you have a subwoofer. And this is going to be getting all your bass frequencies. So essentially, this is allowing your sound system to be about as good as it can be without having like maybe an individual tweeter, an individual mid-range speaker. It is a phenomenal sound system. It is way better than a traditional sound system. And with your subwoofer, because this can be, you know, something that is more, you know, some people want louder bass, some people want quieter bass, depending on their preference. You actually have a gain knob in here. So this little area right here, I know it's really hard to see because the blue light is so bright, but this is a knob that allows you to adjust how loud or quiet the subwoofer is. So you can really dial in exactly what kind of sound preference you have. In this area here also, this is where your um, controls for moving the TV up and down are gonna be, just right in here. So if I hold that down, this TV is going to start coming down. This one actually seems to move much quicker than the one on the 2021 model did. So that was very fast. I was actually really impressed by that. You have an outlet down in here and your cable hookups. And then another thing worth pointing out, you have the storage compartment here, all through here. 
and you have a hole back here and this is so if you have anything here that has wiring that needs to be connected to the tv that is how it will get to the tv and you have outlets underneath here all of your outlets are going to be inverted outlets so basically meaning if you increased on the solar capacity because the solar system on here is expandable you can start right getting power to these outlets from the solar panel so anything that says inverted outlet on it is going to have the capability of being run by a solar panel if you expand upon that solar system back behind the tv you also have an outlet here and an outlet here. So lots of outlets in this area to keep everything powered that you have. Storage compartments right here, same storage compartment on the other side. And you'll have same storage compartment here as you did on the other side as well, but no controls in this one. There's just so much to talk about on this Montana. I'm just amazed that I've even spent this much time in the front living area because just keep running into things to talk about. But you have the roller shade here that will block off this window if you want that completely covered. And then it'll obviously, there you go, pop back up when you want that fully open so you can get a nice view of your campground. Next to your sofas, you're going to have USB ports so you can charge two different devices there. And finally, I believe that is just about everything in this front area. It is Thomas Payne furniture. You are gonna have the two recliners here with heat and massage features. So these are kind of like your king chairs here. And that's gonna be everything in this area. Coming down here, all your controls will be right here. So it's gonna be all just standard controls to control your lights, your gray tanks, or not your gray tanks, your tank um, fill levels, your gas and electric water heater, power, your awnings, all that type of stuff. You do have tank heaters here as well. So fresh black and gray tanks will all have 12 volt heat pads on them. So if you are in very cold temperatures, you can flip those on to make sure they don't freeze really nice look throughout the kitchen as you saw when that closed everything in here is soft closed so the cabinets and drawers all soft closed led lights in the island it's just freaking beautiful and love the back or i guess this isn't really a backsplash but just the design of this it's all framed in as well so it looks really clean you have an outlet underneath here because obviously this is probably going to be like a coffee bar area for most people you also do have tv hookups here so if you did want to put a tv in this area that is an option Although I don't see most people doing that, that is the option for what you can do. You have another outlet here, so you could set stuff up on here as well. And storage all underneath here to make this like a true coffee bar setup. Again, all soft close on everything, which I just love because I don't have to worry about making sure it closes. I know it's going to close. When your slide outs are pushed in, you will be able to get to the refrigerator. You can see you have this extension of the countertop here. With this down, you'll have no problem getting to your refrigerator. And underneath here, you do have an outlet. So you'll have another outlet in there. This is going to be an 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. And it, because it is the GE refrigerator, it does have a water dispenser here. So you have a water dispenser in there. And underneath here, you will have the ice maker as well. It's pretty much just like what you would have in your home in a, or apartment. And I just love the look of it. I love that uh, you know, the, the stainless steel look, I think just looks really good in really any RV, but definitely the Montana's. It's just really clean looking and fits the aesthetic of everything else going on here. Huge, very deep storage compartment up above the refrigerator. And then looking into your island, in stove top area, you have this um, suburban cooktop. It is going to be a three burner cooktop. This area up here is very large, so you have a lot of space to work with. And then you have all this countertop space next to you. Then it's going to be a residential size oven. So it'll be your bigger size oven. You can fit things like, I think this is the one that people say you can fit a turkey in. Not that I think I've seen anybody ever cook a turkey while out camping, but if you're living in it, I suppose that may be something you do. And then you have storage underneath here as well. I think was this even that is soft clothes i'm pretty impressed by that a lot of times like they'll throw one drawer in like that that may not be soft clothes but even that is soft clothes so legitimately everything in here is going to be a soft clothes drawer or cabinet these will all be the same size so you'll have four drawers there in your island it will come with covers for this sink here that will match the color and tone of the countertop they did change the countertop color just a little bit from 2021. 2021 had a bit of a sparkle in it. This is more of a matte color with some gray texture in it. Underneath here, 
just storage compartments. This is where your covers are for the sinks as well. And you're gonna have your trash can holder right here. This will just slide right on out and slide right back in. So real easy to use there. And that's gonna be everything for that aspect. A lot of people look at this and something they overlook is, okay, where's the pantry space? Well, that is going to be right here. So they did not forget about this. You have these really deep compartments and because they are not as wide, they make them really deep. So you have room still in here to fit everything you need. And this is basically what is going to function as your pantry. This unit has a half bath. So there are two different front living floor plans from Montana. This particular one has a half bath here. The other one is going to have a butler pantry and that is going to be, everything else about it is pretty much identical. It just has a butler pantry in here instead of a half bath. But in this one, you have the half bath with the porcelain toilet. It is a Dometic porcelain toilet. So solid, real good quality. And then you're going to have, like I said, in the bathrooms, the cottage white design for the cabinets. Storage underneath there. They went to a new sink design in the Montanas for 2022. So they have a bowl sink, which is giving you more countertop space. Plus I think it just looks much more elegant and fancy. And then they have this waterfall style faucet, which this is so cool. I love things like this. I'm just, I don't know. I'm weird about how I like things to just be unique and different. So whenever I see something like this, where it just has a different style faucet, I don't know. I love it. I think it's so cool. Some people may hate it. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments, but I really love that. I think that is so cool. And that alone is something that would make me want to buy this over anything else, just because I think it's cool. But you're going to have a towel rack here so you can hang your towels up controls to get your fan open up above so you'll have your big fan up there that will have the rain guard sensor you also have an ac vent in here you have a heat vent and you're going to have more storage up above here as well plus if you want to have a good hiding spot for stuff you have a little small compartment up there where you can maybe hide some things if you need to keep some things hidden all right Next, you have your dinette table right here. Now this dinette table is going to have two different lengths to it. So this will flip up. You're gonna have storage underneath here and then these will slide out, allowing for the leaf to come down and having a place to sit on when you put it back down. Plus there will be two more additional chairs that I believe are stored up underneath the bed in the bedroom. Let's close this back up. And underneath here, there is this right here, I always forget what this is called. It's like a chair buddy system basically, but this is going to hold your chairs in place while in transit. So instead of having to strap them down, this is just going to apply pressure onto the chairs so they don't move, making your life a whole lot easier. You have very nice, elegant looking chairs. They're um, definitely more premium than what you see in pretty much any other fifth wheel that would be in a lower class than what this Montana is. And then the final aspect we have to look at in this area is you have your PVC flooring in here. Basically, this is like a woven PVC material that you have. It's very flexible, so it has no problem giving. And then underneath here, this is where you see your Astrofoil insulation. These have air pockets in them as well to add to the insulation factor. And then you have your wrapped flooring underneath here. So the flooring is wrapped. All of these aspects are going to help protect your flooring from the woven PVC material here that is very hard for liquid to flow through. Plus it's a dual layer where you have this carpeting layer underneath it as well. Then you have this Astro foil layer that is definitely not going to let any liquid through. And you have the wrap layer here that is also not going to let any liquid through. So a lot of stuff preventing liquid from getting to the flooring and damaging that flooring material. <coughs> Excuse me. And this material here is also very, very sturdy. It is very hard to rip or tear even if you were to get like rocks or something like that or pebbles stuck underneath here you know if you got think about it, if you had a pebble underneath here and then you were stepping on it how that could potentially rip this material well this material is so strong that it should not ever rip through that even if something like that were to happen so it's a very strong sturdy material and it's doing a lot to make sure your sub flooring is staying protected in that slide out so that's everything in this area let's go up into the bedroom and bathroom and look at what's going on in here Another thing to point out as we come in here, everything like your doors, cabinets, stuff like that is all going to be solid hardwood. Basically the biggest benefit to that is one, 
there's no wrapping around it. It's all just stained. So it's not going to have any sort of materials that could peel off or affect the look of your doors, cabinets, drawers, stuff like that over time. And if you were to scratch or dent anything in here, all it has to do is be sanded and buffed and then restained and it'll look just like new. So that's all throughout this entire coach, all solid hardwood. You're going to have a king size bed and they did a lot of changes in here. So first of all, you have a different bed spread, different pillow setup. I know a lot of people will put their own stuff here anyways, but you also have a different headboard. So it just is a different look and aesthetic on the headboard. The nice camping pillow is a good touch. You have these nightstands that are new and I like how they put them up above the window. At first I thought that was a little strange, but then I know how many times I've had customers say when the headboard, or not the headboard, when the nightstand is down here below the window, they're like, well, I'm gonna hit my head on that. Well, that eliminated that problem, putting this up here. Plus you have your two outlets and USB charging ports so you can charge stuff there. Your night light is going to be a new setup as well. You basically have two different settings here. So it's just a touch sensitive um, sensor here. You have your first light setting there, which is just going to give you kind of almost like a mood light. And then you have your second directional lighting that'll shine down on you if you're reading a book or something like that. That'll be over both individuals in the bed. And then windows all the way around. They'll have day and night shades on every single window in this RV. So they'll both be pull down shades. And it just looks really nice. Up underneath the bed, you'll have your storage. It's strut assisted, so you won't have to worry about holding it up. This is where I was saying your chairs are at. And then you also have your central vac hose down underneath here as well. You have a nice mirror here. So this is also going to add to the feel of the room, but you get a mirror all along your wardrobe sliding doors. And then when we open these up, should be, yep, if it's slipped on a motion sensor, a motion sensor light, you're gonna have all this wardrobe storage. So places you can put your clothes, put stuff up in here and your washer dryer hookups will be in here as well. So if you want the washer dryer, you can put a stackable unit right there and it will fit in there perfectly. And that'll be some of your wardrobe storage. You will also have all your additional wardrobe storage right here with all these drawers for things like socks, underwear, pants, shorts, all that good stuff. And then all of these compartments as well. Then finally, you're gonna have your TV here. It is in its nice own little cutout space. So it looks really nice and elegant and just continues to add to the aesthetic and look of the Montana. They just do these extra little things to just give it a nicer, more pleasant look. Now, this is one of my favorite things about this floor plan. It's going to be the bathroom. Um, I am a big fan of dual vanity sinks. I just think if I were married and had a family, no matter what I have, I would definitely prefer a dual vanity bathroom and a dual sink setup. So I love that these front living floor plans offer this. And then with the stylistic changes that Montana did for 2022, this just looks so cool to me. I just love the look and aesthetic in here. It is so nice. You have the LED light strip underneath this area here. So it lights that up so beautifully. And you have again, a Dometic porcelain toilet. So an upgraded toilet. And there's a lot of storage in this bathroom. Very deep storage compartments right there. Four different drawers that will all pull out right here. And then obviously you're gonna have your storage underneath the sink that will go all the way through. This one's gonna be a little bit more obstructed because you have your piping that needs to run through there, but so much storage overall in this bathroom, plus plenty of floor space. The toilet is at a bit of a slant, so it's going to have it. So you're sitting in a way that your shoulders are not like brushing up along this sidewall here. You do have a nice little window in here for some natural light along with this um, skylight above the shower. And then check this out. Your sound system actually has three zones because that third zone is going to be in your bathroom. So if you wanna do shower karaoke, you have a JBL speaker in here and you can sing your little heart out in this shower, which I just love because who doesn't love a good shower sing-along session? I know I do and I'm pretty sure most people do, even the ones that won't admit it but you do now have a speaker in the bathroom, which is pretty freaking cool. Again, you have your fantastic fan in here. It's gonna have a rain sensor on it as well. So you can get all your smells out of here or you know, just the steam and whatnot from taking a shower. And finally, 
you have the residential shower. It is a one piece fiberglass shower with the stool in here. It is a really big bench actually. And you have your different arrangements to put your soaps and whatnot. It is an adjustable shower head. So this will go up and down depending on your height. You can adjust it to what you want it to be. And this here in its maximum height is going to be about, let's see, I'm 6'2". That's probably about 6'4", 6'5". On its total height so then you could see even here with the skylight i mean you could be about six six or six seven and still fit in here comfortably so lots of space in here the shower door pulls open just like that so that's what it'll look like or pulls closed i should say that's what it'll look like when it's closed and they went to all black fixtures in here in the shower it wasn't black last year it was more of a stainless steel but i think the black looks a lot better with the contrast of the white everywhere else so that is your bathroom. And this is, like I said, one of my favorite aspects of this trailer. And then the changes they did to the 2022s for the bathroom with the bowl sinks and the different handles and stuff, I just think gives it a much better aesthetic. Looks way more fancy and more like what I feel like a Montana should look like. And again, you have your little waterfall faucets here that are so cool. Even this, like just very nice design and the texture and everything. I mean, Montana's design team, always kills it i don't know how they manage to do it but they do such a good job and every year i'm just like blown away at how they make these changes to make it even better than the previous year but that's everything i think if i missed something i hope i didn't but if i did let me know down below in the comments i think i got everything but it's so hard to remember everything in here oh one other aspect in the flooring i always sometimes not always i sometimes forget to talk about the aspect of the flooring in here but Montana comes with a Dynaspan flooring. Basically what that is, is, is it is a one piece marine grade flooring. It's basically like what they would use in like a boat. So the flooring underneath here, this is gonna be all your sub flooring. It is going to be completely water resistant. So if you were to put water on it, it would just beat up and it would never absorb into that flooring there. Comes with a 25 year warranty and Montana has never had a warranty claim on it. So that is something that is pretty phenomenal and something I try to make sure to always touch on when I'm talking to people about Montana is the quality of the flooring they use in here and really the quality across all the construction. But that flooring is very important to know about knowing it comes with a 25 year warranty and they have never had a warranty claim on it. It's very important because I've seen so many trade-ins come in over the years where there's soft spots in the flooring and the flooring has been affected and that really devalues the coach more than anything else. And this is just something that is going to help prevent that from ever happening. As I was talking about that, I also saw this underneath here. You have a floor sweep as a part of your central vac system. So you could say goodbye to the dustpan forever. This is going to suck up all your dust and debris and pet hair and all that stuff into your central vac. You can just sweep it all to right here. And then this here is where your hose will hook up for the central vac system. Okay, I think that's everything. So if I missed something, let me know down below in the comments. If y'all are interested in this RV or any other RVs that you've seen on my channel, you can reach out to me. My contact information is in my bio down below or the description down below. And it is also going to be at the end of the video. And then if you do come into a Holiday World store or if you give Holiday World a call, whether it's my Dallas location or one of our other locations in Texas or New Mexico, and it was my videos that inspired you to check out Holiday World, just let someone know when you talk to them that you saw my videos. It's something that you can do to just help make sure that I get credit for the work that I put into these. And I would just really appreciate that. So that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see y'all out camera.